Hey, this is Brock Lemires, and we're continuing our study of embedded systems design by looking at data manipulation instructions. In this video, we're going to look at increments and decrements. Okay, <clears throat> increment means add one to something. The mnemonic is INC. Okay, and there's one operand. So if you had a number in a register and you did an INC R4 or an INC R7, it'll add one to that the value held in that register. It, it works with all addressing modes with the exception of immediate. Uh, and then there's also a DEC, which means decrement or to take one away. You also have an INC double, INCD, and a DEC double, which is DECD, and that will add two or take away two. Okay, and the reason that you have the, the double is because you use these instructions a lot to walk through memory. And so if you think about the way that 16-bit words in the MSP430 are aligned to even addresses, you might want to go retrieve something at, let's say, address 2000, and then you retrieve a 16-bit word. Well, then the next 16-bit word would reside at 2002, and the one after that would be 2004. So a lot of times when you're walking through memory using something like register indirect addressing, <clears throat> you can load a pointer into a register, access memory, then increment it by double, access memory, increment it by double, increment double, access memory, and you can walk through 16-bit uh, word by 16-bit word, okay? They're pretty simple. Uh, so let's fire up a, an example project. So I got my CCS here, I got my board plugged in. And I'm going to go File, New, and CCS, for some reason, has moved the CCS project. It'll probably come back someday. But if this ever happens to you where it just says New Project, that's fine. You'll get to the same spot. But I come down under Code Composer and CCS Project, and I say Next, and then the wizard will pop up that we're used to. So not sure why that happens from time to time. It's I probably clicked on something. But MSP430 MCU, we're good to go. So let's do... Uh, SM or ALU, let's call this project ink underscore deck. <clears throat> okay, make it an empty assembly only project. So go ahead and say okay. <clears throat> and we're back. So here's our uh, here's our empty assembly file. Let's go ahead and come up here and we'll do our main loop like always. So let's do main and then we'll do uh, jump main. And now let's do something where, let's like do, uh, let's move a constant into R4. So we load R4 with zero. So we're gonna say R4 equals zero. And then let's just increment and decrement it. So just to see kind of how this thing works. So we'll do increment R4, and then we'll do it again, R4. And then we'll go ink double R4, and then we'll go ink double R4, and then we'll dec R4. Four, and this is just to get the hang of, just to see this thing work, you know, and it's pretty self-explanatory, but deck double uh, R4 and then deck double R4. So this should basically, it'll go zero to one, two, four, six, and then it'll go five, four, two, zero. Okay, so pretty simple. Uh, let's go ahead and save it up and let's start a debug session. And here we go. So I come up here, I hit the debug button. It's got, I got my board plugged in. It's going to go ahead and assemble it, make it, create the executable file, download it, start my session, and here we are. Okay, so let's go ahead and put a breakpoint at the first instruction, and we'll run to it. And then I want to be able to see R4. So I'll go up here into my register viewer, and all I care about is R4. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and step, and zero went in there. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and walk through all these increments and decrements. So I'm going to go... Go, it incremented to one, look at that. And then, oh, it incremented to two, wow. And then, oh boy, it incremented by two, so it went up to four. Then it, went, it incremented double again, oh, went to six. And now let's go deck to five, deck to four, and look at it, it's moving, and then we'll decrement two. So that took two away, and then decrement. <laughs> that's, that's about the extent of a dumb demo, okay? Okay. So that was pretty stupid, uh, but well, let's look at how you could use it to actually access memory. So I'm gonna nuke, I'm gonna nuke that whole program. And let's get a little, let's see here. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna go allocate some, some memory. So let's go put something in memory and then we'll access it and see how we can use this with register and direct addressing. So I'll do data allocation. Come down here and let's do a dot data. And that means go to data memory 
at 2000H. And we'll do dot retain, and that means leave me alone. And now let's go down here and let's put something in memory. Okay, so I have an example uh, right here. <clears throat> and what I'd like to do is the following. Let's go put these values in memory. And we'll just use one address label called const, const. <clears throat> and we'll put it at 2000 and we'll load 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, ABC in here. And then let's use register indirect addressing to go snag these things, okay? And we'll use increment in order to increment the pointer, okay? So first of all, let's go in here and put this into memory. So I'm going to do an address label const, okay, whatever. And I'll go dot, now I'm let's put them in as 16-bit uh, words. So I'm going to do dot short. And I'm going to put, uh, let's see, the first one is 1, 2, 3, 4, H. And I can actually do these on separate lines, too, just to show you a different way to do it. So then it's 5, 6, 7, 8, hex, and dot short. And I can do uh, 9, A, B, C. Okay, so I got it. Life is good. And I go ahead and save that, buddy. And now I've got that. That's going to download into memory. And so now I'm back in my main program. Let's do something that's a little more cool. Uh, let's go ahead and load the address pointer that const represents into a register. So we'll do uh, move pound const into, let's go R5. No reason. <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do is let's go grab some information out of here. Uh, based upon this pointer. And let's do, let's start with eight bits at a time. So what if I did this, move up B, and I said, use R5 as an address pointer. So this is register indirect. And so it's gonna go grab that, whatever is at the address held in R5, which at this point will be 2000, okay? Now remember, it's gonna grab three, four first, okay? Because it grabs the lower byte first. And so if I did this, let's put this in, where should we put this? Let's put it in uh, R6, okay? And we'll, we'll just look at what happens, okay? Now what I wanna do is think about this. What if I incremented my, red, my address pointer? So now I increment R5 that was 2000 to 2001. Then what would happen if I then went and did this? The same instruction, let's put it in R7 this time. I now have incremented the register that I'm using to hold my address by one, and now it's pointing at 2001. And so then that's gonna go get the, the next byte of this word. And then let's just do it again. Let's go ink, uh, let's go ink. Actually, let's do an ink double. No, we got an ink. So we got it at 2000, and then we're 2001, and then I'm gonna go ink. R5, and then we'll go ahead and go move.b. Actually, no, now we're at 2002. So we started off, we did this move and it's 2000. Then we incremented, it's 2001. And now we do ink and it's 2002. So we're pointing at this word. Let's go ahead and grab that entire thing. So let's go ahead and grab uh, at R5, which is now at 2002. So we're going to go to that location, that address, and grab this word, the 16-bit word. And let's put it in R8. And then we'll go ink double. And now that's going to take our address pointer in R5 and point it to 2004. So then let's go grab that. So let's ink R5. And now do, let's do move.w at R5 and put that in like R9. Okay. So now this is actually kind of starts showing the power of it. And you can tell I'm doing this all sequentially, but you could put this in loops, right? So this is what's in memory. And we're going to watch, watch it come out. So I'm going to go grab the... Low byte here at 2000, and then I grab the high byte at 2001, and then I'm gonna grab this 16 bit at 2002, and then this 16 bit at 2004. But I'm doing it by using register indirect mode addressing, and I'm using inks and inks double, ink doubles to move through my memory. Okay, so this is actually kind of cool, or it will be. So let's go ahead and save that. Let's kill off our past compiler session or debug session. Go ahead and debug it again. And let's see what happens. So if I were dumping this code down there, it starts a session. Uh, I go ahead and put a new breakpoint in here. Let's run to the breakpoint. So I'm gonna go ahead and run to the breakpoint. And now let's go get some, uh, let's go look at our memory browser to make sure everything's in there the way we think. There it is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine ABC. So I was able to download those three words into memory using this uh, dot short data directive. And now let's go up here and I wanna watch our five and then I care about our six, seven, and eight, okay? So I don't care about nine, but let's just, who cares? Let's see, let's watch these guys. Okay, so I'm gonna step. I just brought in the value that const is pointing to, which is uh, 2000, and that's gonna serve now as my indirect register or my address pointer. Now I'm gonna go grab what it's pointing to, but I'm doing a bit operation, a bit byte operation. So I'm gonna grab eight bits out of there. So watch what it grabs. It grabs three, four, because remember 2000 is the lower byte and then 2001 is the higher byte. So now if I do this, watch this, I'm gonna go increment R5, and now I'm gonna go use that same address pointer to go grab the next location of memory. So when I, when I do that, I now grabbed one, two. So look at, I got three, four, and I got one, two. And now let's go ahead and increment R5, and now it's pointing at 2002, and now we're gonna grab a whole word. So let's do a move.w, so a 16-bit operation. So then I go ahead and go boom, and look what comes into R8. I got five, six, seven, eight. And now finally, I wanna see the next one. I'm gonna increment double so that I move my address pointer from 2002 to 2004. So it's now pointing at the last word that I have. And I do my last 16-bit move. And look at what happens in here. I got, it's in decimal, number format, hex. I ended up grabbing nine ABC. So this is the power of the ink and ink double is you use it to walk through memory. And you can see, we haven't got the looping structures yet, but you can see that you could get in a loop where you automatically uh, increment or increment double and you can walk through blocks of memory. Okay, that is it. That is uh, ink and ink double, pretty simple instructions, but you actually use them quite a bit. And that is it, nice work. Uh, as always, remember to subscribe to my channel to get all the latest videos. See ya.